Hello. I can't believe that we are here to record a video, finally, with a new camera. Suki says hello. So as you can tell, I am not put together at all today yet, and I thought it would be fun to just kind of sit and get ready together. I have wanted to do this specific tutorial, if you will, for a while because it's basically how I've been doing my makeup the entire time that I have been pregnant, except for the fact of when I was having intense morning sickness and wasn't doing anything except sleeping and feeling sick. If you guys can see the room around me, um, it is kind of a disaster down here. We have started finally in the nursery, moving stuff around. And so this weekend we had so much stuff all over the house, trying to just find a new home for it. And anyways, if you guys saw the vlog, you would know. Um, it's just been a mess. So we're just gonna ignore life behind us and look at life in front of us. So I have not prepped my skin or anything at all because I wanted to walk through literally every single thing with you guys. And first off, this Clarins, this is the total eye lift. Um, it's just like a little, like a little eye lotion. It is so good. I cannot, it like works super, super fast and I have been loving it. So I'm gonna do a little pump of that. And then I have a serum that I wish that I could say I loved it. It's by It Cosmetics. And I don't know why I'm just not impressed with it. Um, it's the Bye Bye Lines, and I've been trying it for probably about two weeks now because I really wanted to give it some time. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not into it. I don't, I don't really like it. So as much as I would love to use that one today, I'm not going to. Next, I am using this also amazing product from Pure Cosmetics. This is the 4-in-1 Cloud Cream. The packaging on this is so like weird and cute but the product itself is even weirder and cuter because it just looks like, like a regular lotion, you know, nothing too extraordinary, but it's like a, I don't know. It's like when you go to rub it in, it's almost like it turns into water. It's the weirdest thing, but it's so nice and refreshing. So we're gonna let all that kind of just sit in for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the primer that I'm gonna be using, but I'm gonna wait until this is kind of set a little bit better. This is from NYX and I got this, I think in my Walmart beauty box and I have loved it. It's the Bear With Me. Um, it's a radiant perfecting primer. It's so good because it's just like, when I first went to use it, and I think I've actually mentioned this in a video before, I put it on and I was like, whoa, buddy, that's not gonna work because if you guys can tell, it looks super like dark um, and definitely radiant, very illuminating. I was like, this is not gonna work for me. I'm too light for this, but it blends out so good. And almost every time I wear this, somebody's like, oh, you're glowing. And I'm like, it's makeup. I wanted to talk to you guys about an idea that I have. And I think like in my head, it's a great idea. I would like opinions, but I also just think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm just being honest. But I was thinking and talking with Dustin a few days ago and I, if you've never been to my channel before or you somehow missed the last bit of content from me, I am 25 weeks pregnant and um, this is my first baby and I'm, pretty nervous about postpartum anxiety and depression. I have been on medication for both before. I really don't think that I needed to be on medication. I just think my mom was looking for an easy way to medicate me and that's what we did. I'm just nervous about it. And so one of the things that I know is gonna be tough is adjusting to my new look. I don't know if you guys can already tell, but it's just so much like brighter. So basically what I mean by that is obviously my stomach is gonna look way more different than it ever has after I have a baby, regardless if that's a natural birth or a C-section. My chest is gonna look different. Um, I'm just expecting, you know, the realistic thing to expect, I think. But I was thinking, not only am I not probably gonna put this on the list of priorities, but it's 
even if it was like my number one priority, it's just not realistic to think that way, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is doing my makeup, doing my hair, getting my nails done, whatever. And so y'all have to excuse me because like I said, I am pregnant, can't breathe after three sentences. So let me also say, everything I'm about to say is not services I normally get done. And that's why I think having them done before I give birth would be a really huge thing. I'm gonna get talking and like not do any makeup. So the next thing I'm using is from YSL, holy moly. This is almost too dark for me, but it is so, so good. And it is just like a tinted um, foundation moisturizer type deal. It's called the Bare Look Tint. And this one is, I'm not sure what shade this is, maybe three. It's just a little bit, almost too dark. But if I don't use tons of it, I'm okay. Um, and it is so good. And I also have gotten uh, the primer that I always forget to use. I don't love the primer as much as I do this, but I love this. So I was thinking the other day when I started like really talking about doing this, I was like, when is the last time that I had my nails done like at a salon? And I really don't think I'm forgetting a time. And if I'm not, it's been at least, at least three or four years. So I don't typically do that. But gel nails are just something that, that made me feel a little nicer about how I looked in the moment. And I also thought lash extensions, which sounds so extreme to me, but I thought that would be a great time to kind of test those out because I'm not going to be doing a lot of other makeup and really the, I guess, main reason I've always been like, I don't know if I'd like that, is because I like to do my makeup. I like to put on lashes if I want lashes or minimal lashes, you know, whatever. And you can't really do that if you have extensions on. And so I just thought that would be a good time. And I also was telling Dustin about this, which bless his heart, he's so supportive. But I was like, I just think that would be good because when I wake up in the morning, you know, I'll already feel a little put together. If somebody wants to swing by and bring us food or help us out with something, I won't feel like, ugh, you know, I look like this big monster. And also I'll say, it's not because I'm always in makeup and I'm always dolled up. My immediate family, like Dustin's parents, they see me all the time without makeup. Um, so it isn't like I have to be put together for them to come over. I just thought that might make me feel nicer. And the last service I was thinking was getting, um, very minimal, but like highlights, maybe a month-ish before I'm due, so that that way, you know, I just feel nicer about myself. All those things are super, super, super superficial. And like I said, not services that I normally have. Like I have to, it's been two weeks, I need my nails done. It's been, you know, whatever, I gotta go get my lashes done or whatever. I just think during that time, it's gonna be so nice to kind of indulge myself and Maybe if those things are going to make me feel less like a dead person after giving birth, I think that they're worth doing. So give me your opinion, but again, I'm probably doing them. So but I wanna know what you guys think. Okay, so for eyebrows, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been in love with my eyebrows. I've been really tempted to go somewhere that is like laser focused on eyebrows and have them just do something. I don't know why I don't like them right now more than normal, but I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. This is my favorite brow pomade um, to outline them. And kind of what I've been doing is outlining them, but then kind of just not trying to fill them in as much because I saw some pictures of me from a while ago, several years ago, and I was like, oh, those brows are pretty bad. And I don't know that they've gotten better, but they were really dark then. So after I get that done, I just kind of like let that fill in my brow, if that makes sense. And then I'll do the, the top of them too. I'm gonna say one more thing about everything I was just talking about. I also feel like when the time comes and I'm like, all right, let's do all the appointments and fun stuff. I'm gonna be like, I don't wanna spend any, <laughs> any money on any of this and chicken out of all of it. So 
we'll see. I'm trying to leave the front of my brows untouched. I can't tell if you guys are in focus, I think you are. But I hate the beginning of this brow. Like, that's why I think, would it help even going to see someone? Could they even do anything for me? But they look all right today, so we're gonna leave it like that. You want to throw on some eye primer if you're following along with me. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. This is kind of unnecessary because I'm not really doing like intense, like an eyeshadow look but I always feel like it helps to have a little bit of a grip on your eyelids. I always have felt that way. It feels very weird to me not to use a primer. I'm doing things kind of in a weird order, so I hope it doesn't bother you. Now I'm gonna take the Infallible Full Wear um, Concealer from L'Oreal. This one is so good. I love it so much. I'm on the hunt for a different concealer though because I feel like the coverage of this, I, I want and I need. I feel like a lot of coverage under my eyes, but I definitely feel like, I don't know, I'm starting to get some wrinkles and this kind of concealer doesn't always sit beautifully on my skin. I'm gonna do a little touch of that down here on the end of my nose. Okay, so to set that, I'm actually gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me. I haven't used this powder in a long time and then I picked it up yesterday and I was like, oh yeah, I love that, huh? So I'm gonna use a little bit of that and to set the rest of my face, this package, I mean, is shot. But this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. Um, if you guys can tell, that's what it used to look like. I don't know if that's helpful if you're on the mission and hunt for this, but it's been well loved. Like I said, I'm doing this whole thing in super weird steps. But next, I usually bronze. I'm still using the Hula Benefit. I want to get the light version of this um, because I think that would look really nice since my skin is so fair. But for now, we just use what we have. I like to do a little on the tip of my nose and then I actually contour just with the same brush. I'm all about like fast and simple steps right now. I'm trying to get in the mindset of like, if I do my makeup after I have baby boy, it's not gonna be like some big glam session every time. It's just gonna be kind of quick. For blush, if you've been here a long time, try not to be surprised but I'm gonna use this Milani blush. This is Romantic Rose. I have repurchased this, I don't know how many times over the years. It's just the best blush I feel like. I love it so much. I really like mauve colors more than I do like pink, true pink colors. And this one just does me right every time. Okay, so now you're probably wondering what the heck are you doing with your eyes? So this is super, super unlike me to do everything that I'm about to do, but I'm going back in with a little bronzer and I'm just gonna put that like it's a crease color and kind of carry it all the way over to my nose. So strange, I know. I'll tell you why this is important though, is the next thing I'm about to do I have done that without this step and it just looks so much more like undone, like not put together. It's weird that just this little thing kind of makes it look like, oh, that was an intentional 
look and not just, you know, something's thrown on there. I really try to focus most of this right here too, like towards the outer part of my eye. And then that is pretty much about it for that. So then what I do, again, an all time favorite of mine. This is the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette. Did I say Spotlight? Spotlight Highlight Palette. This is the best highlight palette that I think I've ever used in my life. I love it so much. And I would show you guys, I can kind of show you, but it's almost falling apart. Glow and Ethereal are my favorite for my face, but then on my eyes what I've been doing is using any combination of the other ones. Um, today I think I'm going to do Dream, which is like this orangey color up here, and pretend like that's my eyeshadow. That's it for the eyes, as far as shadow goes. While I have this out, I'm just gonna go ahead and combine glow and ethereal into some highlight. When I first did this makeup look a long, long time ago, it was like early on in pregnancy, everybody was like, oh my gosh, you're so glowy. And I wanted to be like, I put on a lot of highlighter before I left the house today. The only other thing I might do sometimes, if I feel like it, is take glow and let that be a little brow highlight. Pretty much done. The only other thing that I'm going to do, I have found love again for the eyelash curler. I don't know, I picked it up one day and ever since then I'm like, I can never not use this again, I think. So what I'm gonna do before I curl my lashes is use the LA Girl Shockwave. This is the neon liner just in black and tight line my upper. Line. So sorry about the break there. I don't know the last thing that you guys were able to hear because my battery died But what I've been doing is just taking the LA girl um, shockwave neon eyeliner in black and tight lining my upper lash line I don't know why I said that like it was a question. So this is the one that I've done. This is the one that I haven't done I don't know if you can tell a huge difference, but it does make a really really big difference So I'm gonna go do the same thing over here And then I don't do any eyeliner above my eye, um, which is so weird. So very much out of what I normally do. Now we're going to curl really quick. And then I'm still using the Lash Paradise Primer um, from L'Oreal as well. This one is a cult favorite of mine. I've actually switched over to using the CoverGirl Lash Blast uh, mascara again. This is from, I mean like, I remember buying this in high school. So I just randomly one day was running around the store and I was like, I'm interested in that again. I wanna try it and I have loved it. I'm pretty much to where I need a new tube of it, but it's very, very good. Okay, so while I let that kind of sit and get tacky for a second, the only other thing that I do like to do underneath my eyes, just because I feel like if I don't have anything down there, it just looks really blank. Take a little bit more of the bronzer and just kind of do like this. And then we'll do mascara down here too. My favorite lip liner right now is from ColourPop. It's part of the vault that I got, which if you guys missed my swatch video from a while back, um, there are a lot of similar colors in it, but this one is like perfect. So this is BFF. It looks like if you're looking at the tube, like that's super, super light, um, but it is, it's perfect and I love it. So I just do a quick line. and blend that out with my fingers. I normally would do some sort of like chapsticky kind of product, but today I'm actually gonna use the Lawless Forget the Filler. This is a lip gloss that is very good. I have liked it a lot. Suki's over it, if you guys heard that. She's like, enough, mom. I just do a couple little dabs of it. I want to love lip gloss all the time. I just don't think I'm a lip gloss gal though, but if I do it this way, I can kind of, I don't know, manage it. I do love lip gloss, I just don't think it looks good on me. Okay, we're gonna jump back in with that CoverGirl mascara and then I think that's it.
And then I'll do just a little bit of that, like I said, under my eye. All right, so I am gonna let my hair air dry probably for today, which I like to put my hair in a pretty high bun for that because I feel like that way I still get some volume at my roots. And then I always like to pull down my baby hairs too. And that is what I have been doing recently. I hope that this was fun to watch and share some products with you guys. I actually am gonna be filming a PR haul probably next week depending on what comes in the mail over the next couple of days, but I'm super excited to share all that with you guys. And I think we'll have another vlog possibly next week as well. I have an appointment that I want to vlog, but I don't know what day it'll go up. But anyways, there's more coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you hit bell notifications, that is basically going to change my life. I never knew the importance of it, but it's important, like mega. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day today, and I will see you in just a few days.